Corvallis, there's a one-of-a-kind sanctuary for an animal you might not expect, llamas. And they just took in nine feral llamas. And I was invited to see how this nonprofit handles these special animals and the challenges that go with it. Good morning, ladies and gents. Charlene Hakes founded and runs the Safe Haven Llama and Alpaca Sanctuary in Corvallis. Rain, snow, or shine, what? work starts early. Breakfast. Something just clicked in my head out of the clear blue. Now there's an animal that I could have and not have to kill it. To use it, it could have a purpose. So that was the start. In her time caring for these animals, she understands she will receive calls that are disheartening to hear. A most recent call, nine feral llamas in need of help. A woman in Willisaw, Montana, lost her lease on her land and 25 horses, chickens, and nine llamas had no place to go. Being the only llama sanctuary in the state, she took them in. They each started coming out, and I was just really upset when I seen what a mess they're in. This, this is not a normal thing these days. These guys have been out on the prairie wild. Hakes examines the animals to uncover the extent of neglect. When it gets like that, I have found dead mice in the wool. I have found fish hooks in the wool. You can find sticks. These guys have a lot of some kind of a seed in their fiber in the front, so it's really heavy in the front of them. I mean, that is a lot of weight. As you can see here behind me, these llamas are staying quite a distance away, and that comes with feral llamas because they're not trained. And that's also one of the challenges that comes with taking in nine new ones here at the sanctuary. And she says there's more challenges to come. We'll keep going as long as we have the help from people to do it. Hakes isn't a one-woman hey, show, as she has volunteers from time to time. But she can use more helpers, especially what now with colder today? weather, rising food, and medicine costs. Every little bit helps and let me go get you some more. Keeps us going. The hope is to get back to doing outreach work like she has in the past with organizations like 4-H or the Boys and Girls Club. Come on. Um, I'm real big on helping people and they can help me and it helps them. It helps these guys. So we all work together.